everyone in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a really effective looking logo um, using a chaotic arrangement of letters so I have had a little play around with this idea with the word seen um, and I've tried to create a logo for the word seen by using a chaotic arrangement of letters so I'm going to show you how to use Photop to do that so in Photop I'm just going to go to File, New. I'm going to use the Type tool, the text tool down the side, drag it on, set the size. I've set it to 300, but just set it to one that's big enough for you to type. And then, oop, type your word. So here's my word C. Now, there's a number of ways that you can use Photop to create a chaotic arrangement of letters. One of the ways is that you could cut and paste in a new layer each part of the word each letter of the word so i'm doing control and x on my keyboard to cut then control and v on my keyboard to paste and i'm pasting in a new text layer each time so that last letter there control and x cuts it click on the text tool drag it on control and v pastes it and now if you look down here, my layers, I have each letter in its own layer. So that's one way you can do this. You can place each letter of the word in its own layer. Use the, te um, the pointer tool to then move each individual letter around. So you can uh, rotate that by doing something like that. Click on the E, make that line up there, get that other E out the way. So that's one way you can do it. Let's finish this off. I do like to have a finished idea before I move on to the next one. Okay, so there's one way. I'm going to go to crop, crop that down. So we'll have to adjust that. There's an idea. If I just get a new page there, <coughs> is you can rasterize the layer of your text layer first before you start moving around. I'll show you how to do that now. So there I am typed on a text layer, typed in my word C, position it in the middle and at this point I'm going to go to the layer options at the top and I'm going to go to rasterize. What that does, it means that I can now use my lasso select tool to go around individual letters, then go to the pointer tool and grab those letters and, and move them. So instead of putting each letter in its own layer you can rasterize the whole word and then use the lasso tool so there it is lasso tool to draw around the letter make sure you go back to the beginning and then you've got the dotted line that goes around the edge click on your pointer tool and then you can move the letters about that way okay so there's two ways that you can create a chaotic arrangement of letters Okay. And both of them create pretty cool results. Have a go!